All right. So in the previous demo, we showed that using the real-time switch, we can tolerate the jamming traffic, the interference on the network, while if we use isolate switch, we cannot. Um, but to maintain an end-to-end real-time control loop, not only the real-time network, the, the network should be real-time, the PC nodes should also provide certain kinds of real-time guarantee. Um, particularly, if the PC node is running several real-time tasks and the CPU needs to communicate with several peripherals through its PCI bus, then there must be some PCI, uh, must be some real-time traffic arbitration mechanisms going on on the PCI bus to arbitrate real-time communication between the CPU and, many, and its many peripherals. So in this demo, Rodolfo is going to show us his uh, PCI bus real-time traffic arbitration mechanisms. We still have the same uh, proxy node and control node. The proxy node connects di directly to the helicopter. The control node does the control calculation. Between them is the same real-time network. Uh, we have nodes A and B, both are real-time switches, uh, which connects to, um, control nodes with the proxy node. And nodes C and D create jamming traffic to jam real-time switch A and B respectively. Now I'll leave it the demonstration to uh, demo to uh, Rodolfo. Thanks, Yushin. Right. So what we did for this demo is to add two new FPGA peripherals to the control node. First of all, we have a traffic generator FPGA, which generates a high amount of traffic on the PCI bus towards the system main memory. If this high amount of traffic is allowed to go through while a critical task is executing on the CPU, the task can be uh, delayed a considerable amount, up to 40%, and therefore can miss its deadline and bad things will happen in the system. So we also coded a reservation controller FPGA here, which execute what we call a cascading algorithm that is able to control all traffic uh, generators in the system and prevents uh, traffic from interfering with execution on the main CPU. In particular, the reservation controller has this white block wire here connecting to the traffic generator. And uh, when the block wire is set to high, the traffic generator will be prohibited from transmitting on the bus and therefore it will not interfere with CPU execution. In this demo, we will run multiple real-time tasks on the control node. In particular, we have a control task that performs the control duties for the helicopter towards with other less critical computation. What happens is that we uh, coded the reservation controller to block all peripheral activity while the critical control task is executing, while peripheral traffic is allowed to go through when other real-time tasks are running on the CPU. We will show that under this configuration, the helicopter flies just fine, but when I will then disconnect the block cable, the traffic generator will be allowed to transmit traffic at any time, and therefore it will interfere with the control task that will take much longer to execute. It will start missing deadlines, and therefore the control will become jittery, and the helicopter will ultimately crash. Okay, let's start the, now let's start the, Demonstration. First, let's start the um, proxy application here. Uh, yeah, the proxy program is already running. So I'll start the control node. So as you can see, the reservation controller is now running. It's preventing the traffic generator from transmitting while the control task is executing, and therefore the helicopter flies just fine. But if I then disconnect the block wire, the helicopter starts going down. I will then reconnect it, and as you can see, the helicopter uh, will resume flying just regularly. Okay, that's it.